Hello, all you wonderful people out there. Today, I'm going to be talking about the new Step Up spawn. Well, it's not new. They just kind of borrowed it and threw a few monsters in there, then called a spawn and be like, Yay, let's send it out now, because that's what a team does. Um, this spawn right here is a three Step Up spawn, 46 gems. And at the very end, you're going to get one of these nice, crisp, spicy type monsters right here. All, the, all these beautiful... Um... All these beautiful wonders right here. All, all these, uh... I don't even know what to call them. <laughs> Anyways, um... This is not a progressive spawn, though. Keep that in mind. So no matter how much you spawn, you're not gonna get something that will help you out. Like some type of, like, step-up spawn medals or something to spawn enough to the point where you can actually get the certain whatever gear you're trying to get itself you're going to have to wing it in this 46 gem step up spawn and actually do it itself uh to start talk about the step up spawn i want to let you guys talk about it first yourself before i actually get into it with my opinion itself so to be on the flip side here we go uh where is it right here dude named cool he likes my youtube channel Hey, cool. How are you doing, by the way? He said he just pulled Napoleon and Romeo from one spawn. Normally, if that was the last spawn, I would have dropped my draw and be like, Bruh, how did you manage to do that? <laughs> then A-Team saw your account and be like, Oh, yeah. <laughs> One of the administrators at A-Team was watching your account and be like, Oh, yeah, that's my brother's cousin's friend. Uh, let's hook him up with some good stuff or something because I, I don't know how that happens and then the guild my uh, my shelf leader slash best friend which I call broski he said he got Keshin from the spawn Keshin is the guy, the girl right here when the last spawn they were pretty common though so it's not really nothing new but that dude got Napoleon and uh, what did he get from the one spawn cool Awesome pull though, awesome pull. I'm glad you got what you wanted. That is pretty awesome. But holy smokes, I think that's incredible luck right there. I will find out in the spawn that I plan on doing in this video later. Romeo and Napoleon, that's insane. That's pretty awesome that you got that. That's insane luck, I think. I'm not sure. They only have the regular rates a little higher. And then they have cost 23 or higher SSR rate subs, so they have a higher chance of getting these monsters and that very end, you know how it goes. Um, though, like said, it's just like the other spawn, they have the commanders and all this, then they have the DJ Himiko and Elizabeth to top off the RNG, I think. To really snatch the RNG, then they have the regular 33 cost monsters that I've been talking about, plus all this other stuff right here. Now, I do like how they have Jupiter and Mercury, like the different versions, which I don't see where the other Stellar Gods are. I noticed they have these two, but they don't have the others. I don't know, maybe they're, maybe they're racist against the planets? Nah, I'm joking. <laughs> that wouldn't make sense. Um, I'm probably just gonna use that idea later. Just top it off. Like, oh, we got Jupiter and Mercury wearing fancy stuff. We're gonna do that with all the other Stellar God stuff. The thing I don't like about this is itself, the spawn right here has extra stuff right here, like the extra monsters, and these monsters you can actually earn in the regular spawn. So that's that's really the killer for me. Like before, I would have been like, okay, everything is featured, so you're guaranteed something you cannot get from a regular spawn at least, even if you do get a 30 cost monster. Which is pretty cool, but now they just said, nope, no, not today, guys. A-Team is going to decide to pull a quick one on you. Um, but going on with it. Um, overall, though, before you do the spawn, I know this is late. Um, make sure if you're planning on spawning this. I'm sorry I made this late. I'll probably put this in the comments below as well. Or the comment of my own video. Or the description. Description, my bad. Um, make sure if you're doing the spawn, you don't mind getting those 30 costs. Those 30 costs can be used for awakening. Uh, last time I did this, I got Elizabeth. And this beautiful lady right here got the privilege of having Elizabeth and going to Super Saiyan level 4. Say hi to the camera, Mojis. 
or try to poke it with your long, long stick. I did not mean that in a sexual way either. Um, yeah, last time I did this, or spawned like this, the one that was similar to this without all the monsters, the extra ones, I got Elizabeth. So we're gonna see how this goes again, and see what the heck I get. Honestly, I don't think I'm gonna get much. I might get a commander, that's probably it, that's, that's probably it. But yep, this is your host with the most, the Azrath, and I will see you in the next video. Oh wait, before? I see that my gem spawn count is 69. Oh, I'm just joking, just joking. I will see you in the next video. I'm out. Peace. I'm going to be doing a spawn for you guys. All of you out there and gals. Alright, let's get to it. <laughs> First. Alrighty. Not bad, an SSR. Not an SSR, an SR. It's pretty spice. Alrighty. Next step, 23 cost or higher. Woo, SSR. Wasn't expecting one, to be honest. And I got a lot of SRs, holy smokes. Alrighty, I'm getting something new. Oh, okay, new bunga. Alrighty, I could I could use him. Oh yeah, not bad, not bad. I can use him. I can waken him. I'm not waken him. I can use Athena as an awakening for him. Alrighty, here we go. Here's the moment of truth. One SSR. See it? Yep. <laughs> here we go. And yep. Bruh.